on the bus they don't like wet weather you gotta give them a bang like me to get them up and get them moving I just want to be lazy and sit on the back of the bus and ride like Mikelski instead of waiting while the clock tick 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 tocks the noise away break it up break it up like Jack you're a whack culture slug Culture slug, written in the damn dankest kitchen of a grayling backdrop. No, cause cold, cold feet gotta get moving. Skit scattle freezing on floor so cold it's filled with frosty flakes. Freezing. What cold, cold feet need more than me? And warm and toasty Why cold cold feet need more than bread And we all need more bread There's something warmer than a warm thing In a very warm place Dry woolly socks And there ain't none of them around here That's for sure But I don't want to be lazy I don't want to sit on the back of the bus in the damn dankest Grayland backdrop. No, the doors on the bus, they don't like wet weather. You gotta, you gotta give them a bag.
throughout my journey Your thoughts dreamed my days and haunted my nights With the kisses I had stolen You know I wanted you from the moment that I saw you as you were, as another man's girl. When you smiled at me, sucked deep from my cup, and told me you didn't mind sharing it all. The wildness in your eyes filled me with wonder. Did I know at that moment I was lost then forever? Did I know I was cursed as blessed in a second? I confess, I'm obsessed, an incurable fool. Sun, my beautiful one, come whisper your secrets to me. On the sparkling sand, I watch you dance for the sailors lost at sea. I couldn't know for the rips undertow that one so adrift was me. flash before us as clouds rush the sky it's you that directs me it's you that I'm adored on the wild west coast with black sand on my footfalls I saw you as naked as a turbulent sea and though I wanted to hold you you weren't mine to have perhaps we're never really anyone's at all this mirage that we dream this muse and a memory collects up our steps keeps our thoughts to the wall Lay down in the sun, my beautiful one Come whisper your secrets to me Sand, I watch you dance For the sailors who have lost Lost at sea But I couldn't know For the rips on the toe That one saw a drift Was me Brush my arm in an affectionate way Then you'll look to your lover As you kiss me politely And whisper You'd like to see me someday I'd like you to see me someday I got drunk at your house 
At least I think that I did You smelled of flowers and sunlight I didn't give a shit You said you wanted music And I threw a harmonica at you You whispered your name And it sounded like thunder We played Hendrix When we made love A violent mess of electrified wall I just remember sitting on the edge of your bed Trying to remember your name I just remember sitting on the edge of your bed Trying to remember your name I do remember the fish with the golden earrings That blew black bubbles all over your nipples I couldn't see you could hitchhike to Puhoi with a busload of accountants. I couldn't dream you would brush me off like moonlight in the terrible morning. Rushing out to Tihinga's spume driven sea And marvel at gulls fighting against an impossible westerly Which lifts the raging stream up over the cliff face I've lost an inch of my face I'm sure As I struggle out to the angry edge Wind whip sea driven by the chaos of ocean Surface under that is Tihinga wind whip sand running racing for the city. So wild, my demon lover, she draws me closer. I can hear her calling out to me. All I can think about is the sea, the violent sky, and the earth as one As primordial creatures unseen by our eyesight, sightseeing genomes, DNA menus
but not the skin of it. Tane's land long chopped and renamed after some man called Bethel. Tea hangers skin flaked off as summer's peel. Lover, she draws you closer. Can you hear her calling out to me? You know the surface under that is to hang a wind whip sand running racing for the sea. I came into this world screaming obscenities and untruth Little white, black, multicolored lies Lies rank and steaming like cow pats on frosty tea pooky mornings Soft, liquid exaggerations that seep into conversations With the slick grace of automated motion That I am aware of my deceit Neither condones nor justifies my fraudulence Rather accentuates the guilty In opposition to what? The purpose and politics of pretense Forms the inextricable architecture of our communication We fake like child prodigies The Pablo Picassos of untruth I paint surrealist landscapes to juxtapose my cubist intent It has nothing to do with you I never told you I was honest Look at me, honest Joe politician Like I'm standing up here Like I own a copyright on absolute truth This is the absolute lie Beware of fools with absolute truth There is no such thing Absolute truth is the property of theologians And we all know what lying bastards they are In the perjury hall of fame my bus sits detached from the political, the immoral, the rock and roll dream merchants and the news readers. Yep, cheap petty swindlers and prostitutes of art are right down the hall, ma'am. The one with the bus, the Shane Holland's out the front.
I scream the sham into my coffee cup. This is damn good coffee and proceeded on my path to falsehood for the eventual length of the entire afternoon. Telling myself I needed sleep. I lied to my bed and I lied to my dreams. I hoped to die lying and to fake my way into heaven. Yep, that was me, God. I wrote the Emancipation Proclamation of 1832 and I freed those slaves. I just took a little while getting here, that's all. We have misintroduced and misrepresented history until history is a sequence of mistruth. Yeah, Jesus, he was one of the good guys, eh? Bloody fucking bullshit. There are, there are no good guys in history. History is filled with bastards and bitches. That's how they got there. I'm false. I am conceited. I am deceitful. I'm a liar. I'm the most honest person. You and me. my way to Mottawaka and I was cursing because it was stormy brewing and all the Jackson boxes were fresh out of Dorkland and nobody was stopping for rides 12 hours till morning all of a sudden there is a screech and out John Mumps the most beautiful angel and she is a goddess in a convertible where you going she says she looks she screams oh uh, I say I'm going down to Matueka. She says she is headed down to Wellington. See her friend Harry, who is not expecting her. Got any go? She looks, she screams. Oh, just some jump, but uh, stuffed into the back. A beat white taxi bag. I've been lugging all landscape morning. She takes two very much. And I'm grabbing my bag like it's a done deal and she slides over and kicks away driving crud with long beautiful legs and I slip in to the cockpit she rolls up a spliff of outrageous proportions and we chuff the skies we head south like a lost albatross and break through the desert highway right about then the drugs kicked in. <laughs> Oh, 
sadness and madness and dreams and some ancient homestead impossible stairwell to reach it I meet her friend Harry and she is a girl she's a dancer a stripper is working in club all long weekend and cannot hang out with us but has a wonderful stash of whatever we're after we do lines Next thing I know, they're making out. Oh, I make my excuses and head on down to the dairy. Book two tickets to the night ferry. I'm up on top of the boat and having a smoke and keeping an eye on the punks. I'm thinking about my wallet, thinking about my license, thinking about my ID, and I realize I left them all in Dorkland. And I got a smile, I got a smile just for you. Run our factories And you're looking at me that way 
Cause you think I know what I mean And this world's crazy They won't listen to you or me And when we look into the middle We can see we're all just freaky mean And when you walk upon the water Cause it's all soil and green More than a man More than a thought exposed More than a piece of mud With nowhere left to go More than a man More than a thought exposed More than a piece of mud With nowhere left to go Bastard lounged in He had a smile and a snarl And a bruise and a snarl And an armful of muffins Which he stole from Cezanne's And a watch which he stole From the two dollar shop He was looking bruised and beat So I humored the bastard Um, care for a cup of coffee, James? Like he's gonna say no Steady injections of caffeine and nicotine Are recommended in his line of work Cartooning, that is. He asked me for the time and I lied. He asked me for a cigarette and I told the truth. He sets his sickly frame on my most comfortable chair and he starts, yada ya, bitch, bitch, ya, 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 and on and on and on. And I dreamed. I wore a rubber chicken suit and chased Hamburglar and Ronald down Scanlon Street yelling, Bastards, 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 I'm gonna make you pay! Carnivores having Christmas for breakfast. So with bleeding ears and thumping brain You know I had to do it I had to get out on the street And though it was wet and wild And splashing slick black I couldn't fight the finger of fate or weight And there was water on my toes Cause there was holes in my shoes And somebody got in my way Don't you understand it when I say it? Oh, and I've got no coat Cause I'm broke And that's the way I wrote it It's a short, unsheltered lift Which drifts me up Williamson and heads me on to Turakina Street where I knock, knock, knock looking for treats but nobody's home and I spark up and head up to Western Park where I play on the sunken facades of some full court art and look for the secret, sacred places people will look at you funny with your head up a sculpture and your ass on the grass don't worry, this will pass
My poetry wants to beat on your poetry. My poetry would like to kick your poetry's assonance. It would love to meet your meter in some dark alley and slice its bulk into a haiku. And my poetry hates haikus. My poetry dislikes your rhyming intensely. For that matter, so do I. If alleged confrontation did occur, my poetry would plead Bukowski-esque insanity and not be held responsible for its actions. In a court of literature, it would state securely that this was a crime de passion, as it passionately hates both your verse and your verb. My poetry would like to grab your poetry by the balls, poke out its eyes and cross its T's as it teases it mercilessly for its weight and its seriousness. Go on, go on, take it on. My poetry would like nothing better than to slit the soft, white, liberal throat of your quivering limerick until the words spill out onto the floor. It cares not a jot for the caretakers or who will be left to clean up the mess and will gleefully kick the words around until there are sticky letters everywhere. Don't take it personal. My poetry is an alcoholic pit bull. It is genetically dispossessed to attack and to masticate the weaker and milder of the species. Which is why I keep it chipped and muzzled. Given the opportunity, my poetry would wreak havoc on ballads, little ditties of love, and radio jingles. It is madder and sadder than all your Christmas trees at Christmas. It is one bad mother of a poem. It is the manners and constitution of a drunk shark on pee in a bad mood. Which is why When I first looked into its big, weepy eyes and it growled at me and snarled at the ridiculousness of the situation, I just had to take it home.